services of heavily armed escorts is an absolute necessity. There are fees just from $1,000 a day per vehicle. In the market where we couldn't risk taking pictures, bullets and guns of all sizes and max are sold side by side with oranges and bananas. For $100, you can pick up an AK-47 assault rifle, and for $200, an M16. Families contribute whatever they have to arm their youth. It is the only way to remain alive. A simple misunderstanding can easily lead to a shootout. One such incident of a misunderstanding over water between this boy and this woman almost cost the boy his life. It happened in the very house we were staying. Our clan members surrounded the house, fired some shots, and demanded for the boy's head. It took three hours for reason to prevail, as our landlord, General Shamo, pleaded with the woman's clan leader to spare the boy's life. Mogadishu is today a capital without the necessities. No light. All its 2,000 transformers and cables have been vandalized and sold off to interested parties in neighboring countries, even as far as the Middle East. The water works was bombed by a warlord in the business of selling water. The television station was looted. Even their airline, which sources say had only two planes, was not spared. One of their ambassadors overseas attempted selling one of the aircraft. Mogadishu is no man's land. Everyone is a leader, a follower, a looter, a killer, a scholar, and a peacemaker. The American...